it's well known that Phil Jackson, the great legendary basketball NBA coach, he was kind of very hippie-ish, right? He incorporated like meditation into Chicago Bulls practice and preparation and Los Angeles Lakers basketball practice and preparation. I don't do that because he did it. I don't think it's coincidental that when I do it, if it's good enough for those guys, Phil Jack, like, then yeah, I'm I'm definitely going to give it a try. I didn't I didn't do it because they did it. I think I was doing it around the same time that he was doing it with the Lakers and I didn't even realize he was doing it. But to me, it makes sense that it works because why wouldn't it? There's no downside to giving it a try. The only potential downside is like someone sees you doing it or you tell people that you do it and then they think you're a weirdo and they make fun of you. But who cares? Like you wouldn't be watching this channel if you cared about that stuff anyway. So give meditation a try and do it however works best for you, however leads to the ultimate end goal of you being consistent throughout a game or a day or whatever it is. The more consistent you are without those peaks and valleys, the better player you're gonna be.